Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review for this evening's Fan Forum, of course, uh, where you get your chance to have your say on everything Newcastle United uh, with me, uh, Billy, and, of course, Sam, who is on our last show before she goes gallivanting off to uh, Latalia um, for a week in Rome. Um, so it is up to you what you want to talk about tonight, uh, as usual. Uh, the floor is yours. Uh, you can discuss with us what you want about Newcastle, of course. Uh, Eddie House press conference. You can talk about the, the Chelsea game, of course. Uh, and, of course, the victory over Wolves last week. Lascelles and his new contract extension, etc., etc. It is all down to yourselves. But as usual, please do hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it really does help the channel in the search results and algorithms of HooTube. And, of course, if you're new and you like what you see, uh, please do hit that subscribe button. Free to do so, uh, but don't forget to hit the notification bell as well, which will send you a message when we schedule our live shows or we upload any videos. And, of course, you can become a member of the Tune Review by hitting the join button just underneath us. And as well as that, you can super chat the channel if you want to make a donation, and uh, that will also guarantee your comment to be read out on the show. Uh, Bruno Genius, welcome to Members Club. Thank you very much for signing up. Very kind. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, right. Um, good evening, Billy. Good evening, Sam. Uh, Billy, your eyes are looking a little bit better than they were this morning. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wide awake now. <laughs> All right, you looked like Kim Jong Un this morning. I was oh, concerned. I was sh doing the show with the uh, dictator from North Korea. Well, certainly a dictator, that's for certain. <laughs> uh, who have we got guesting there, Sam? Who is that? A pickle. Oh, it's pickle. Oh, yeah. Well, well, she tired. Wow. I mean, she looks like Billy this morning. Actually, this Billy, this is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that's not far away, actually. Yeah. Uh, definitely got Billy's eyes. She looks like she's going to fall asleep any second. I, think. I know. Um, put her on the floor, actually. Yeah, as well. Let's, uh, we'll probably hear her later on, no doubt. Oh, you will. Um, yeah. If she's uh, in the land of Zeds. Uh, right. Uh, exactly. Let's get our first guest up. And it is uh, Mr. French Canada himself, Ryan. Good evening. Hi, Ryan. Get your mic on. Uh, yeah, your mic's off, mate. Oh, yo. What's yeah, up? There it is. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Uh, not too bad. Uh, the dungeon's looking well lit up tonight, my friend. Well, yeah, I moved my monitor, so I got room to put some lighting in now. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, by the way, Mary's just gifted five Tune Review memberships as well. Thank you so much for that, Mary. Incredible gesture. Thank you. Uh, right, what would you like to discuss, Ryan? I just think the upcoming Chelsea game, uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, we should beat them. I don't think there should be any excuses not to. I think it's a weak inside. Uh, whole restructure in oh, their whole you, structure. You're that confident, really? Well, it's not that I'm confident. I just think the expectations should be we should beat them because they're not good. And like everything that clubs are rotten now, they think the whole American idea of just coming in thinking that they could remain on top <laughs> backfired for sure. So that's coming from me as a Canadian. So I know all about this stuff. Well, that's very doesn't true. Work, doesn't work in football. <laughs> think uh, you can buy a bunch not. of young players. So yeah, and we got is, players coming is this, back. So. Is this coming off a marginal um, gain in form that we had last time? Well, I guess so. But the way that we're trying to go forward, I think that we should be being a team that's like Chelsea, that are a recovering team that have just fallen from grace. It depends what Chelsea you get there, boy, isn't it? Sometimes they are pretty good. To be fair to them. I'm not yeah. talking a lot, but sometimes they do click, don't they? I guess so, but it's like the final third kind of thing. Like, can you rely on, like, and yeah, can you rely on like their striker to get you goals? No, like it's just an inexperienced team. I'm sure if you yeah. Google it, they're probably the youngest average team in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Well, they are, but um, you know, you, you mentioned there about Chelsea, and, and and Billy makes a good point about which Chelsea will turn up. Uh, however, um, I, I will throw that back at, at you, Ryan, and say what Newcastle United will turn up. Because, yes, we played really well against Wolves. I still don't think we hit the high, heights of top gear yet, so we've, we've still got that to come. I am looking forward to the game, actually, because I want to see um, yeah. you know, how, we res how, how we go again, away from home this time, uh, with a lot of injuries back. Um, you know, We've had a good rest since the Wolves game as well, so I think that may play... 
Uh, obviously, Chelsea haven't played either, but it, you know it is an opportunity um, for, for players who haven't who've been playing a lot, like the likes of Anthony Gordon, etc. They've got a good sort of seven, eight days rest, um, just training. Will that make a difference? Well, this is it. I think you look at the returning players too. Like, there's no one else coming back, and unless it's uh, Wilson, Joe Linton, Tanali, like everything mm -hmm. else, like we've got a fully fit squad that can be available just through yep. injury and i gotta say i think joe willix like we've got a lot more in our midfield now because we actually have a ball carrier we don't have someone that takes one two touches and passes mm -hmm. um yeah i'd say like uh jacob murphy's kind of brought a bit of light to the team lately mm -hmm. it's good that he's back Almiron's do you think Eddie might? Do you much? think Eddie might go with Almiron though, instead of putting him on the bench? I personally think Almiron's better off the bench, um, but you know, has Murphy done enough to stay in the first team? Do you think? I think he has because he creates mm -hmm. chances and he helps out in defense too. Like, I think he's done a lot more than Almiron has lately, and like he mm -hmm. said, I'd rather have him on the bench than start. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I mean, will he, uh, Billy, what, uh, will he go with Almiron or do you think, will he, Billy? I didn't know hey. what I saw, what I bloody said there. Uh, it's in the words 10 foot and you're laughing. You behave yourself, Sam. Um, you know what I mean, Billy? I do, yes. Um, do I think that Almiron will start off the bench? Yes, I do. I think he'll be pretty similar last week to the uh, mm. side last week that, that started. Yeah. Because um, they performed for him. So, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I think I think Murphy will start. I think, as Ryan said, I think Murphy created chances with right-footed crosses, strangely enough. It's, it's, it's something yep. he's got in his locker. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think Murphy will start. And I think Armand will be an impact off the bench. Um, yep. How early it is, is how badly we're doing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um uh, uh, Lewis Potter, uh, welcome to membership. Uh, welcome to Members Club. Thank you for signing up and your uh, continued... Uh, support of the channel thank you very much uh mary's made me laugh here with this this comment uh do you think there will be surprises in the lineup like lewis hall yeah i'd be, be surprised when he's not on the bench this week because he's not allowed to play <laughs> exactly um so he's, he's still loaned until the end of the season mary so um you've you've just had a castor there mary um and, you know you don't often have any anymore but there you go you've had one tonight um Aaron says, uh, if Eddie mixes it up like he did against Wolves, I fancy us to win. Uh, possibly. Uh, absolutely possible. Yeah, I'm, I, look, I'm confident. I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. I'm not going into this game thinking, oh, we're going to get hammered uh, or we're going to get beat. I'm actually thinking positively that we're going to win. Um, and speaking, uh, speaking of positivity, let's see what this guy says tonight. Uh, Mr. Proudlock, good evening. All right, everyone. Happy. How are we? Very well, very well. Good, good. Uh, just before we get your point of view, uh, uh, Chris, the American Mag, uh, thank you for your super chat, buddy. Hope you're well. Uh, greetings, great show. Continue the great work, TTR team. Thank you very much. Uh, you can catch Chris's channel. Uh, Billy, what's it, what's it known as? American Mag Boy, and you have seen Spoils, I believe. Yeah, uh, have a look for that on YouTube, and you'll catch Chris on there um, at most nights at around 10 p.m., I think, with him being uh, over there in, uh, in Americano. Uh, right, Pete, what do you want to... Oh, hang on. We've got uh, Andy K with another super chat. Evening, Paul, Billy and Sam. Thank you very much. Uh, Pete? Uh, Chelsea as well. Mm -hmm. I can't see why we can't go and win. Agree. I mean, well, this this side's very poor out of Chelsea's. Even a lot of their fans were seeing their draw against Brentford was very unconvincing as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, they haven't really played that well. And, and, and a lot of pundits, uh, Sam, are saying that Chelsea have, have got back to the way they, they used to play. I think that's that's very optimistic. Um, I still don't think this is as good a time as any. We, we don't really have a great record at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League, but this is, this is where we can turn it around. I think this is our best chance for a yep. long time. 100%, 100%. And I think um, I think the team will have a lot of confidence, as will Eddie. He seemed to have a bit of fire back today um, in the pre-match conference. So that was that was actually really refreshing to see. And I'm sure that will translate to the to the players ahead of the game. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think we've got an opportunity. And I was quite 
I was quite impressed with the with the tactics we played. It was just something different for us, and I think it surprised the opposition. And I think we can go ahead and and do it again. I'm not saying the same the same you know style and set as as we did yeah. for Wolves, but I think you know Eddie Eddie's got some some stuff in the locker that he he's going to bring out now that we were were sort of looking better fitness wise. I mean I'm I'm really excited about it actually. Yeah, well I mean you'll be sitting somewhere you know in some kind of Roman, you know, ruins somewhere with a huge glass of wine, no doubt, um, <laughs> watching the game in some crazy Roman bar with crazy Italians, I guess. Um, oh, well, I, I, I it guess sounds lovely. Got, well, you've got to be careful, though. You know, it, it's Italy. They're a bit this crazy is out there. This is um, it. Uh, Robert, uh, uh, even and all, lost my wife on Monday after caring her for her for several years. Mm. Uh, consequently, not being no match for seven years. So glad I discovered the tune review during this time. Robert, uh, mate, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about that. Mm -hmm. um, sorry. You know, but what, a, what an incredible uh, person you have been, obviously, caring for for several years. I mean, that that, that takes a lot. Um, and uh, my heart and prayers go out to you, mate. Uh, but thank you very much for still tuning in. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we try and give everybody a good laugh on this channel. And uh, hopefully... Um, you know, she's out of our suffering now, which is the, which is a, I guess, the only positive to come out of something like this. But mm. um, uh, we we do uh, send our best wishes and thoughts to you, Robert, and the rest of your family as well. Uh, keep your head up, and uh, hopefully over time it, it will get a bit easier, matey. But uh, keep tuning in, and we'll keep trying to put a smile on your face. Um, we've got a super chat from up the A1. Uh, evening, everyone. Looking forward to another great show. Hope Susan's feeling better. Love, Mrs. Up the Tune. Sorry, Up the A1. Thank you, Mrs. Up the A1. Uh, she's still not 100% by any stretch, but um, better than what she was. Uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a long recovery road at the minute. Uh, Spike says, if the team plays as they did against Wolves, we should beat them. Um, what tactics do you expect, Peter, uh, when we go to Stamford Bridge? Are you expecting us to play on the counter-attack? Are you expecting us to take the game to them? Could be a bit of both. I can't see why we can't get at them. Yep. We, in, this is a team we really got at. Uh, they can be really got at. They do concede goals as well. Mm -hmm. Where can we they, win the game? We couch them on the uh, counter-attack. We, we, I can't see why we can't stick at least a couple past them. Yep. Uh, he's, he's, he's a very confident man. Um <laughs> Uh, Sanusi scored again for the Academy. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in a bit of preseason. This uh, young Sanusi, he looks uh, he looks like a player. Dare I say it? He looks like a certain Frenchman, Billy. <laughs> I'm not. You. I'm not saying he's names. I know he's in the oh, chat. Yeah. I know he's. He, he'll hear me, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I'm just not saying the name because um, I'll never Sa hear the Sa end Sa of Sa it. Sasha Yes. The one with him. Yes. Um, <laughs> You know, so, so some, somewhere along that line, yeah. Um, Ryan, uh, before you go, how are you predicting Monday night? 2 0 Newcastle. Oh, there you go. And who's going to get the goals? Uh, I'll go with Isaac and Gordon. <laughs> That's predictable, but uh, you're probably right. Uh, right, thank you for coming on, Ryan. We'll speak soon, buddy. Cheers, Ryan. Yeah, see ya. Of course, Ryan is one of our mods as well, so uh, he'll be keeping a close eye on the chat. Uh, Steven says, go on, Pete. No draws or negativity this week. 4-1 to the tune. Um, <laughs> Graham Sinclair has been a member, celebrating his first month as a member, uh, even in Paul, Billy and Sam. Uh, Niall says, I'm confident we just need to build on performances from last game, uh, but we still have a few extra gears to get back to last season's form. But last mm. week was a good start. Um yeah, we, we, we've got to build from somewhere, Pete, haven't we? You know, we've, we've got to start yeah. the process. We do. We've got some of our key players back, which is fantastic. Willock being back is definitely a big boost for uh, how much of a miss as he's has been. A mm. big miss. Who? I mean, look, we've Willock is a big integral part, but by Absolutely. God, do we miss Joe Linton? We do, yes. Once, hopefully... We'll see him back before the end of the season, hopefully. Because we need him as well. We miss his physicality in midfield. Absolutely. Um, do you think he'll stay? Yes, I think he will sign the contract. You think he will? 
yeah, but I, I mean, look, I, I, all signs are all signs are very. It's positive all looking still. positive now from yeah. what I've been hearing. So it looks like he could be, well be staying. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, a good point, Tony. Shira met Stato. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apparently had about ten seconds with him, so uh, he did mention the channel to him. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> wouldn't nice to see him. <laughs> right, what's your what's your uh, prediction, Peter? I can't see why we can't go and win three one there. Wow. Okay. Ooh. And your scorers? I'm going to say Isaac Gordon and the other scorer, Bruno. Isaac Gordon and Bruno. Uh, well, I hope you're right, matey. Uh, is your show on tonight? It's back, yes. Yes. Uh, Peter's football show. Uh, PD's football show is back 8 o'clock on PD Proudlock's channel. He basically starts it straight after this one finishes. So uh, head across to Peter's channel uh, straight after this one for a bit of Friday night entertainment and uh, food picks, dare I say it? <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, good God. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Billy's going on as well. So there you oh, go. Um, go. You see a very different side of Billy Tree oh, on that channel, do. I tell you. Yes, yes you, do. you do. Right. Take care, Pete. Speak soon, buddy. <laughs> see you later, guys. All right. Good night. Yeah, Pete. So that was Mr. Proudlock. Uh, the link to join us, by the way, is pinned at the top of the live chat if you want to come on. Remember, you don't have to have a microphone. You do have to have a microphone, I should say. Not a camera. What the hell am I talking about tonight? Um, you need your microphone. Otherwise, we can't hear you, so it's pretty damn pointless. So you don't need a camera, just a microphone. If you don't want to... Uh, if you want the world to know what you look like, basically, so uh, it's it's up to yourselves. Uh, right. Um, now, Sam, you want to say something today. Um, so uh, the, the, uh, the screen is yours. Uh, take it away. I mean, I want to say something every day, but um, today is a particularly special, (laughs) a special day. It is International Women's Day. um, So just a a huge thank you to all of the women who actually tune in and watch the show and and comment and get involved in the amazing women behind the scenes as well. You know, we, we all know we've got our our Queen Amanda. We've got our the the duchess we've got becky langley as well and i think it's just a a a really great place for for women to be in in this amazing community um and the big news today which is why i've got my uh england kit on is um saint james is going to be hosting the lionesses for the first time against france on the 30 uh 31st of may um so tickets go on sale soon for that so do check it out but i think it shows some really great direction about actually where St. James's Park wants to go by, you know, hosting mm-hmm. the likes of England. We've obviously got the the men's game on the lineup as well, but have the women's as as, as well as that. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Let's fill it out. Let's get it let's get it full to capacity for the women. Yeah. It would be it'd be fantastic if they could get fifty two thousand for which I think they might do, you know. I mean, um, they will. Absolutely. Because um I, I know they played at the stadium late a couple of years ago, um and they got a decent crowd there. Um but obviously they're I think the popularity has gone up in the women's game since that, you know, it was on the rise then, but it's on the, it, it, it's certainly gone even higher since then um, with some massive names in that uh, England team now as well, some really popular names. So I'm really, uh, I'm going to try and get to that game, I think. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really uh, interested to see the England team uh, for the women, more than the men, actually. I can't be asked with the men at the minute because they're, they're just, it's the same, it's because of the manager, simply that, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I am an England fan, don't get me wrong, and we will be covering England in the Euros as usual on this channel in the summer. Uh, however, um, I just think, yeah, it's 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 mental. Um, but yeah, nice uh, shout out there, Sam, and especially to our Toon Review guys, obviously yourself, uh, there's Susan behind the scenes, there's Julie, there's Rachel. Um, we've got a we've we've got a great community back there, and um, thank you for everything that they do, and also the viewers. Um, our uh, women subscribers and viewers, uh, a big shout out to you guys as well, because you make a lot of the channel as well. It's not just us blokes. Um, we obviously like a bit of diversity and women's opinion on here. And obviously we brought Sam on board to keep us in check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you for that, Sam. Right. Uh, speaking of another Sam, let's bring Sam on. Sam. Hi, Sam. Thanks, Hello. Sam. How are you doing? Sure, cheers, I am all right. Been a while since good, I've been on. Like two weeks seems a long time, isn't it? It is. Well, it's never. It's it never seems like that with those chippers. It's uh, you know, it's uh, it's 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 a nice break. Anyway, uh, what would, what would you like to talk about? Hmm. Shall, shall we talk about Joe Joe Linton getting that contract? Possibly. Well, 
I would say possibly it seems more unlikely by looking by it, which it does. It seems a bit baffling that Dan Ashworth couldn't get it done, and yet Amanda's coming in and they're going to get it mm. done straight away. I mean, it's yeah. does this reflect on how bad Ashworth was, or does this reflect how how you know did owners put too much trust into him instead of doing it themselves? Or I well, don't get it. I mean, Billy, the cynical side of it would say that uh, Ashworth maybe was looking at uh, taking him to a, a, his new place of uh, place of work, of course. But a lot of people have thought about that. Um, which which could have been a possibility. Yeah, you wouldn't put anything past those people, would you? And if Dan Ashworth had any inkling he was going to go to Old Trafford, mm. why not try and put him off the Newcastle moving uh, contract extension and yep. try and take him with him? You know, I wouldn't put anything past Manchester United. No, I certainly wouldn't push, put anything past Dan Ashworth now. Yeah. Um, I just need to answer this. Stephen Harker says, AJ or Nganu, I couldn't give a rat's ass. Um, it's a pointless fight. It's 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 just not interesting me at all. Um, I would rather chew the piles of King Kong, to be honest, than watch that game, than watch that fight, to be fair. Um, I that's how bad I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I can't be asked with it. Um, Toon Gamer says, Chelsea panic when teams press them, so we need to do this, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Baz Down Under says, we have fitness and speed up front, so must use the press. Uh, indeed. Um, Sam, you pretty confident, I think. Uh, Lady Sam, by the way, I, I'll call Lady Sam and. Is well, that my full yeah. name now? Chippers. No, we're not going to start calling you Lady Sam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that. She's been here a week, Billy. A week, and she's wanting a bloody title. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I can't remember now. We'll move on. Um, no, see, uh, Joe Linton's contract, I mean, it, it, it obviously, it seems to be taking, uh, it's getting a lot more pace to it than what it did when Ashworth was dealing with it. So I don't know whether uh, Amanda's come in and Darren Eels, the, the both sort of sat down and thought, right, we need to get this done. Uh, and the perfect type to do it is, of course, when Joe Linton's injured because, you know, he's not being distracted. Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, it's an interesting one. I think I think Billy's got a really good point here. If he's been thinking, oh, I'm I'm not going to push you too much on this because actually I'm going to hijack you because I've got my own plans. But equally so, even if that wasn't the game and he was doing things with integrity, which I entirely doubt given the rest of his actions, mm -hmm. then then for me it's the conviction in how he's trying to sell Joe Linton this contract. Is he putting everything on the line because he's got his skin in a game because he knows how good Joe Linton is for, for the club, how good he is, how, how he's like a juggernaut. Like it and that's what we need. We we need people to get to get up and press and be that sort of intimidating character on the field and that's what he brings to us and if he's either not got skin in the game because ash was out the door is he going to have conviction when he's trying to get him to sign probably not or he's thought about taking him elsewhere so didn't want to persuade too heavy amanda's come in and got the job done like it, yeah. it seemed like it was no time at all before Penn was going to paper on that one. And then we also saw him in the picture of the celebration at Wolves as well. So he's actually mm. still going to games. He looks really happy to me. Yeah, he is. He does. He, lo he looks really settled. And mm. I, I think that's the main thing. Uh, Chip is obviously tomorrow, sorry, Monday night we take on Chelsea. And it's, it's uh, you know, we don't know what kind of side Chelsea are going to turn up. We don't really know what Newcastle side will turn up, to be honest. The way that uh, you know, our away form hasn't exactly been superb this season. But... It, we go into it with a lot more positivity than we did before the Wolves game because I think the Wolves game maybe is a springboard. To be honest, I think we'll fucking have Chelsea, mate. Like, I think, you know, I just, I, I think they're just, they don't See impress me at all. Yeah, <laughs> they just didn't impress me at all. I, I, I'm not, we're bad at them. We'll be a few, it wasn't November, um, mm. or earlier, October, whenever, early on in the season, same thing. Um, they just didn't impress me. I, d mm -hmm. I don't see what all the fuss is over them. I don't, like, you know, it, it sounds to me as if, you know, the fans are starting to turn on Poch as well, which is quite odd considering he's been there two seconds. Um, I mean, T Wolves, who we just beat, went there and won 4 2 the other week. Why can't we go mm -hmm. there and score four goals? It, there's no reason why we can't go and do that. And I think mm -hmm. Joe Willock and midfield will help us because our midfield's been screaming out for legs for ages. And you know, short, we obviously got Sean Longstaff, the old tanker, probably playing in midfield. And then we've got Bruno with all these uh, crafty skills and everything. And yeah. just, Bruno still hasn't got the legs, but Joe Willock makes the, gives him them legs because he can do his running for him. So 
that, yeah. that midfield for me can can get past Chelsea's and Isaac's pace. You know, I mean, Thiago if Thiago Silva's fit. I know he's had a good season for them, but he's he's nearly forty year old. I'm sorry, but if Isaac can't skin him. Well, what hope have you got? He well, right, yeah. Jesus, was he? <laughs> no, that's what I was going to say, Billy. No. They were dis- their centre backs were disastrous at uh, mm. at St James's, um, and let's hope we get a repeat of that. Or oh, disastrous. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, talking about old and decrepit. Uh, good afternoon, Mister Caviani. No, Roy. good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Roy is just appearing as a fan forum member tonight. Um, oh, obviously, he is. Uh, he is. Uh, uh, very much uh, a part of uh, Mr. Uh, America's channel now. So on the insiders, you can hear him blabbing on and um, talking shite, by the way. Uh, I, I watched last night, Roy, and saw some of your predictions for Newcastle's running, and I wanted to punch you in the middle of the face. Uh, channel right, thank you for your super chat. Uh, love Lady Sam's England top. Happy Women's Day. Uh, Lady Sam, see what Lady you started Sam. now. See what Lady you started. Sam. I think you started it, Paul. No, yeah, did. I didn't start. You did. Oh, no, I just you said did. Lady Sam because I didn't want to just say mm-hmm. Sam because I didn't call you royalty. I just said Lady Sam instead <laughs> of Man Sam, and now people have taken on calling you Lady Sam. Thanks all. Oh, honestly, hey, honestly. <laughs> uh, anyway, Roy, uh, your favourite player, Longstaff, will probably be in the side on Monday again. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, another passenger. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Is it? I'm just hoping, play Miley, try Miley with uh, Willock and Bruno in the middle. Just try it. Yeah. It's, it's pointless. And if it doesn't playing, work, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. It's pointless playing Miley and uh, and Sean Sam because, the uh, lady Sam, uh, because uh, obviously um, they don't play together very well, do they, when they're in the side? No, no. Yeah, oh, no. Sam. Not, no, he not said not Sam. Typ- he didn't say Roy. Uh, not typically. Not typically, I don't think. But I think. I, I would like to see 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 the press game back. I like that that intensity that we had last season. I think this would be a really good game to do it. Uh, confidence is there. Um, I think I think Willock is really creative. I saw some great stuff against Wolves, and I just want. I, I would love to see that again. I would actually. I, I would. I'm predicting Willock to score one as well. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Chippers, what do you think? Of Longstaff, well, I, mean... I, I just saw someone in the chat say that he's going to predict Longstaff to score, and I, I can't help but think, but no, but no, um, I just think he's like an oil tanker. He's like he, he's so slow, and I just think we need better. Um, this needs done a job for fair enough, but it's it's time we need to get better midfield. Um, if you want players like Bruno and everything to do something at this club, you can't, you know, we can't be sympathetic towards people. We've got to be a bit more ruthless in who we're signing. We yeah. need better. We need better. Um, you know, if you could have two Joe Willocks next to Bruno, I mean, that would be great, but you can't. Um, so, yeah, I think for me, show long stuff, you can say at the end of the season, if, if we can, say cheers for the job, but it's time we move you on and we'll get better. It's as simple as that. I, I've, I've been frustrated with them for a long time because, you know, everyone's saying, oh, give him a chance, give him a chance off what he did last season, but there's only so much, so many times I can say that and I'm sorry, but since since he's come back from this injury, he just hasn't looked the same player. He's had his win a game, so he's had no excuse. I just, yeah, I think it's time to get better and improve in that area of the pitch. I yeah. think you've been very unfair, to Sean Longstaff. I don't think if Sean Longstaff not on that side, I think Sean Longstaff does all of Bruno's dirty work. From being perfectly honest, I mean, look. Oh, he does. He does the winning for him. Look, Bruno's not an athlete. At least Sean can get around the pitch. And launch yeah, I know he doesn't. He doesn't have that pace, but I, he's. You, you've you've got to admit, he's he's so off it. We he is it, off it, but he's still doing the yeah. stuff off the ball. And you know, what while Bruno's going forward and doing those little turns and little over over the over the shoulder passes and no look mm. passes, Longstaff's back. Chippers can do what he does. No, you can't. No, this is it, Roy. You can't. Sean Longstaff is a good player. The minute he's not hundred percent fit, no doubt in my mind. Well, but actually, that, that's, that's a that's good season. point, Billy. It was in the because, squad. Yeah. The squad. Didn't something come out earlier in the week that Sean's carrying a knock on his ankle, which we predict we actually said. I think, Billy, you brought it, it up a couple of weeks week. ago during commentary that when he was going, every yeah. tackle that he was getting, he was going down injured and holding that ankle. But my point is, if he's carrying a knock, what is he doing playing? Why is he playing? 
Yeah. Because you can still do that dirty work stuff. That's well, why. yeah, I, yeah, I, I get that, but it, it won't stuff, be doing no. his ankle any good, though, will it? If he's getting, no, if he's got a knock on it. Well, it's, it's the ball stuff that he's lacking in at the minute. Yeah, hundred percent is. But he's still putting the footwork in. You look at his yardage charts. Still more, mm. more than anyone else in, in the Newcastle side by country mile. Mm. Well, let's uh, let's see how he does, but. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, look, I, I don't think he should be in the team, but um, I understand where Billy's coming from. But I understand a lot of fans aren't very happy with him at the minute. So I, I'd rather have Miley in there than Longstaff at the minute, to be honest. But on the flip side of that, what uh, Billy's point, you know, I don't think Miley can do the job off the ball that Longstaff does. 100%. So, Positionally, correct. Yeah, yeah, do, you th- so. do you think Billy then is it worth? Keeping him and not selling him in the summer, then, if there's still faith there. I'd, I'd always keep Sean Longstaff. I'd yeah. always keep him. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, Billy's a big fan of Longstaff, but he does, you know, Stato brought it up not long ago, and he does he does a lot of work off the ball. Um, and I think we have to appreciate that. Um, I don't appreciate it um, when I'm commentating. In fact, I, I normally very critical of him, but it's just because I, I don't think people watch him off the ball as much as like the likes of Stato do, who, who obviously you know, watch the game two or three times to, to sort of analyse the players. Uh, we've got a super chat coming from uh, Nathan Howells. Um, hi, all. Me and my little girl, uh, Amber, love this show uh, and always watch it uh, when she's going to bed. Uh, she loves Sam and wanted to say hello, uh, though she's not feeling very well tonight and has a bad belly. So, uh, Lady Sam, Aww. would you like to give a shout out to Amber? Yes, Amber. I hope you're feeling better soon, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. There you go. There you go. Hopefully you'll feel better soon, Amber. Um, right, Chippers, what are you going for then? What's your what's your prediction? I think it'll be 2-1. I think we'll go 2-0 up and I think we'll make a few changes second off. No, we've got Man City next Saturday in the Cup and then you'll they'll probably get one back, but I think we'll we'll see it out. It's, it'll just be that's the only reason why we'll concede. So 2-1 to us. Yeah, well, of course, we didn't see it out in the Carabao, so we've got to make a definite improvement Human on Trip, that. Human not playing this time, was he? <laughs> well, he's not. No, no he's not. Uh, he's not. Uh, it, absolutely. So th- th- we'll see how Tino does. Right. We'll catch you soon. The chippers. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Catch us uh, Good night, all. Uh, so, Roy, um, where do you see the game going? Because uh, where where do you see us winning the game? First of all, because obviously it's it's going to be difficult. Chelsea are always fired up these days against Newcastle United. Uh, there's a, there's a little bit of needle there for the last few games, um, mm. and we'll probably still be there on Monday night. So uh, we've got to be physical. We're going to have to get involved in the physicality. I think Bruno's got to forget about his yellow card and just play his game. Because I think if Bruno tries to step off that kind of path that he's on with his, his physicality, I think we we will suffer in midfield. Yeah, we, we need to press them as well. That's that's the thing. Chelsea suffer against teams that press them all the time. Uh, so we'll need to press them and uh, just yep. keep going. And then not park the bus like we did in... Uh, Cup game, or was that like sixty minutes of eleven men behind the ball? Oh, it was. It was. I mean, it was a terrible I mean, game to watch. I mean, it was, it was a mistake goal, but it was coming. It looked like it was coming. In. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. We had about arms length until we made the mistake. I don't uh, think they had a, well, had a on target. Well, yeah, it well, was. Bruno did. Yeah, remember that Bruno on, um, save as well off the line. Uh, yeah, with his with his. Yeah, he did the clearance was gone, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. but, I mean, look, I, I think in that game when Wilson scored, we should have gone on and got another one. Um, but it was a, a very strange tactic that we, you know, we went for it, we scored, and then all of a sudden we backed off. As soon as we scored, we let Chelsea have the ball and we just parked the bus rather than get a couple of I, I, listen. I wouldn't have minded, uh, Billy, had we, we, you know, we got a second goal and done that, but you can yeah. never do that with just a one goal lead. I think the game might go in a similar kind of way on on Monday, if I'm honest. I think, but I think we'll be better at it. I think we'll we'll attack more. I think we'll be quicker in, in on the counter. They're not suited to the pushing game at home. We're really suited to the counter attack away. So honestly, I, I don't see anything less than a Newcastle win. But well, Chelsea are dangerous, and they do if they do turn up, it'd be a hard game. I really, I think that. But I think that yeah. because they've got to come at us because they're at home. Mm. You know, I, I just don't see that that style suiting them and. The speed and pace of Willock and Gordon and Almiron and Murphy and Isaac, it's a bit too much for him. Yeah. yeah. Um, We've got a better bench as well now. Yeah, we, we, we that do. That game was in the middle of December. Absolutely. We've got, in the middle we've got of that horrible run, yeah. 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 
Um, so we're not sort of dead on our feet. So it's it's a good point. Uh, Sophia says, finally, we have a voice of reason on the panel. Uh, well, obviously, she's talking about Sam because she wouldn't. That's not me. She wouldn't be saying that about the three of us. Oh, folks, that's so, nice. Yeah. You must be pleased, Roy. <laughs> it's about time yeah, because of YouTube yeah. land had a voice of reason because people pretending to be that. It's not me. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it's it's all over the shop, isn't it? Uh, Aunt Acid, good evening to you, buddy. It looks like we finally got the official name sorted for Lady Sam. Um, yeah, just wait till Susan does Please, that. Paul. Just wait till we see Lady Sam's animation that Susan will be working on, because oh, obviously no we've got one. Uh, Sam will have to have an animation, and, um, you know, she's very good at them. Uh, and I'm looking I, forward I, to seeing what she comes I, I, up with. I can see you being Parker. Who? You. What, driving her around? <laughs> In a little pink oh. kind of Chevrolet, whatever you want to call it. A I'll take that. sports car. Yeah. Ah, uh, I. Okay. Yeah. Yes, my yeah. lady. Yes, me, my lady. You know, me driving around, you know, if we, if we go on tour, I'll I'll drive Sam around in a bloody, she'll sit in the back seat with a big glass of wine and, um, <laughs> you know, I'll be up front. Susan will be reading the map. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. that sounds lovely. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, I hear that Tonali could face further ban. Uh, what for? Look, look, pay no attention to that, right? Because I know for a fact that Newcastle will have their lawyers on that straight away if anything came of that. If he's, he's done it in his country since he came to this country, then he will get another that's ban. That's the issue, that's yeah. Happening. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a big, big if. All right? We, we don't know. Um, uh, Davy says, Amanda is the headmistress. When she speaks, they all listen. Uh, is the deal done yet with Big Joe? Not quite. Not quite. Um, right, we've got Lawrence coming on as well. Good evening, Lawrence. I love it. Hey, everyone. Uh, what would you like to talk about? Well, uh, first off, I mentioned the Lionesses coming to St James's Park in May. Yeah. I'm hoping to get a ticket for that one. I was actually at the um, the two games against um, Austria and um, uh, Scotland in the last yeah. few years. Yeah. Um, but um, you went yeah, to the dark side, Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. But looking at the uh, Wolves game, um, massive victory for us. I mean, I know Wolves were missing, you know, a couple of uh, key players, but um, I wasn't expecting us to get a three-nil win. Um, and um, yeah, it was just good to see uh, Livermento uh, get his first goal as well. And um, obviously, trippy out bit of a blow, but being up mm. bit of a blow, but. We got to see him get a run in the side because we saw how well he did um, earlier on. I think he was unlucky to uh, lose his place. Um, but, um, I mean, people keep... I mean, it's easy to forget this, but he is also a former Chelsea player. Mm. Um, it is a big chance for Livermento, though, isn't it? I mean, it's it's... You know, it's an opportunity for him now. These next couple of games, I mean, he's definitely going to be in... Um, for the next two, um, barring a very strange decision from Eddie Howe. Um, but Eddie said in his press conference this morning that he's absolutely delighted with him. Um, so, you know, a real uh, boost for Livermento. But he's got to come into this, Lawrence, and, and actually prove to us. I mean, I know that sounds a bit strange when he's saying actually prove to us, but he's got to sort of prove to everybody that, right, I didn't deserve to be dropped. I'm going to stick to this position. And if he does, then surely he, Eddie Howe has got to find a place in the side for him. Definitely. Um, because he's hardly put a foot uh, wrong when he has been on the pitch. Yep. I mean, uh, Sam, it's his opportunity, isn't it? He's, he's got to take it. He's got to, you know, B Billy has been saying for ages that he should be, uh, he's a better, a sort of better player at the moment than Trippier. I mean, I, I can't, disagree with that because Trippier's experience etc is vital but the way Livermento's played he has played better absolutely and and you know what I think um I think Trippy is a pro is a professional and I think he'd actually be really pleased for for Tino getting some some game time I don't think there'd be any animosity there at all which is always good for the team I don't think it's the case of you know the likes of when Miggy needs a fire up his ass to sort of do anything impressive on the field or anything when he's got you know Murphy breathing down his neck. So yeah, I think he can learn so much from Trippier in that mm -hmm. as a sort of mentor in that position. But actually getting this run where Trippier is injured 
I think he's just going to come to life. I'm really excited to see actually what he can do. The sort of, I, I, the, the goal at Wolves, I thought, is, is he just fell onto the ball and it's and it's gone in? But actually, no, it was sort of like dribbled in off his foot. It was, it was really exciting. So I think it'll be really, really great to see what he can do next. I think it's going to be a showcase of, I'm here, keep us in the team. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, Mark's in there, read comments how made on Trippier's injury. I've never seen a, a non-committal comment. Um, I was actually pleased with what he said, and I said that in the show this morning, Billy, with what, what he said about um, Kieran Trippier, because he didn't just say, oh, it's, you know, it's this, it's that, it's, it, it, we don't have a time. He actually gave a time scale on this and mentioned the games that he will miss yep. and said that the hope he's back after the international break. But we also discussed that I think it's vitally important he doesn't go away with England. Very conclusive that for the first time ever about an injury, it seems to me. I mean, it's usually mm -hmm. like it'll be out this a few weeks, a few days, and these few weeks always turn into a few months, and then six months later they're coming back. Mm -hmm. So to, to kind of say, well, he'll be out for the Man City game, be out of the Chelsea game, he'll probably miss the, the international trip and he'll be back for the one after that. It's it's great, it, you know, it's written in black and white, and we can expect him back for the game after the Man City game. Super. Yeah. What, yeah. what we wanted all along, isn't it? It's transparency about the injuries. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, Lawrence, I mean, he was very positive in a few things that he said this morning in his press conference. And he also obviously uh, spoke about the, the, the Lewis Hall situation. Didn't give every answer that we wanted to hear, but uh, at least he sort of gave us an idea of what the situation is. Yeah. Um, but uh, in my opinion, I think with Lewis Hall, um, I think maybe there was, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I wonder what uh, the um, makes him wonder, like, what he has to uh, do to, um, you know, sign permanently. Like, mm. did he not have to play that many games? Um, I don't. I don't um, think there's a lot in this uh, thing with Chelsea. Obvious, we're obliged to buy him. It's as simple and straightforward as yeah. that. You're right. The obligation. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just seemed a bit strange that uh, you know club would agree to, uh, you know, loan the player for a season and then. Um, it's so we then, then pay last the, last last summer and go over our FFP well, limit. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been strange that Chelsea would let us take him on loan for what seven million or whatever it was, and then it's weird pay more money the, for the year's yeah, time. The, the because they're, because they're signing close to the FFP thing, it's ninety million yeah. pounds amortized amortized for them. Yeah, yeah. The Chelsea Make fans are actually they're saying that they would love to have Lewis Hall back. That's how much he meant to them. And you know, I said this morning. Um, Sam, that we've got to trust in in what Eddie's saying about uh, the kid. Uh, obviously, we, we we're all sitting here saying, why doesn't he get any game time, etc. However, you know, Eddie came out and, and and said what he said this morning, saying we have to be patient. Uh, is I mean, look, somebody made a good comment after the show saying, are they turning him into a midfielder instead of a left back? Um, and 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 is that why we have to be patient because the the they want him in the middle of the park instead of left back, you know. So there's different things out there about why he's not playing, but we have to trust in Eddie with this, don't we? Yeah, and uh, but you know what? For me, like I, I'm so proud of how we act as a club and how Eddie is as a as a manager. I think everybody's just just fantastic as a team together. But I do feel like we're really letting Hall down, and it's it, it's not mm. sitting well with me. And if so many Chelsea fans, and you do see it everywhere, they're like, he's, he's class. He, he was brilliant for us. They really would like to have him back. And I'm like, are we missing a trick? Why why do they want him back? And we're not we're not even using him. I mean, how spectacular would it be to see him in a change of position? But you would think after this much time, we would have seen a spark or a change or even just moving and drifting into those positions during a game or a sub. We haven't seen it yet. And this is why yeah. I'm thinking I, I was so surprised to actually see the press conference today and the messages mm -hmm. that Eddie came out when it was nailed on and be patient. I'm not getting it. I mean, the fact he said nailed on, Roy, says to me that he's, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's signing, you know, like Billy said, it's an obligation. And I don't think, yeah. you know, we've all been saying throughout the season, you know, what are these, uh, what's in this agreement? Um, but at the end of the day, we're forgetting that it's an obligation to buy at the end of the season. So it doesn't matter what's written into the loan agreement. It's an obligation to buy. And and, and he will be signed. And Eddie, as good as said that in his press conference. Uh, so I guess we just have to trust in what the manager's doing with him. 
Yeah, I mean this this can be this can go both ways. If if, if Eddie is sincerely working on him and trying to turn him into a better player, then fine. If Eddie doesn't really want him, this is mm -hmm. going to be one of the worst signings ever because this is like you, you haven't paid for him yet. Yeah, you're going to pay for someone you don't even want. Mm. That's going to be that's, that's the worst signing you can ever do. I mean, so I I'm think he, uh, Eddie is right. Well, yeah, I mean, from what he said, I have to. I have to say that he obviously wants him. I mean, he wouldn't say all that, really. He'd make a fool of himself if he didn't want him. And then he said all that this morning in the press conference. Uh, he could just brush over the situation and say he's still in his plans or something like that and then leave it at that. But he didn't. He went into quite a bit of detail about it. Uh, Nathan, thank you for another super chat. He says, have you guys noticed uh, that like Liverpool a few years ago when they used, uh, used to press like madmen, the following season, there always seemed to be a drop-off. Do you see or think this is the same for us, Billy? Yeah, it's a fair point. It's an excellent point, in fact, and one that I don't think any of us has thought of. So I certainly haven't. Um, mm. Yeah, it's to, to maintain that kind of stamina of over two seasons, especially yeah. when there was little, little, a little break in between the summer and you know, the, the new season this year. Mm -hmm. I think it's got an excellent point there. Uh, it, 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 it's a very good point. Nathan's back again, said, the smile on Amber's face from you guys saying hello has made my night. Thank you, guys. You're very welcome. Um, and uh, I hope she gets better soon. Uh, right, Roy, what are you going for then? What's your prediction for uh, Monday night? I said draw yesterday, but I'm changing my mind, so I'm, I'm gonna go 2 1 tight 2 1. Two one. Go, Gordon and Isaac to score, Gordon and Isaac. Right, well, uh, thank you very much, Roy. We'll catch up with you soon, buddy. Hopefully, you're right. Excuse Fingers me. crossed. Take care, buddy. Good night, Roy. See you, everybody. See you. Good night, mate. Bye, Roy. Right, Lawrence, come on then. 2 2. Oh, you've... Oh. Lawrence! You know, everybody's gone for a win tonight and along comes he Lawrence is. with his... I'll just take a point. It's all right, mate. It's, it's a score <laughs> prediction at the end of the day. I know you want Newcastle to win, but uh, who's going to get yeah. the goals, mate? Uh, Gordon and uh, Willock for us. Gordon and Willock. Uh, well, hopefully... Uh, you're wrong, and we end. Uh, hopefully, you're wrong with the score, but right with the scorers, and we win two 0 or something like that. That would be a lot better. Right. Uh, but uh, thanks for coming on, Lawrence, and uh, we'll speak to you soon, mate. Good night. Darling. So that was Lawrence as well. Um, we've got. Uh, a, it's, it, oh God, I've just seen who's in the waiting room. Here we go. Uh, oh bloody Nora. Uh, well, before him, uh, there's Dan. Good evening, Dan. Hi, Dan. Evening, lads. Christ, I thought you were struggling. Hey. What are you? Oh, it's a cat. I thought it was a Is rabbit. Is that a man coon? Main coon? No, no. She's a Turkish Angora rag doll. Of course she is. Well, she's fabulous. Lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. She's decided to join me tonight. I've, I've come home from work and she hasn't let me left me alone. Where are you for it? Love it. We're not at all. Cats are the devil. Cats oh. are the devil's pet. She is. They they scratch you. They do not have any any love for humans at all, unless you give them food. Do you like dogs, Paul? Wonder... Uh, uh, yes. I, I've I got have... two of them, if that helps. Uh, what have there you, you got? go. King Corso, Norwegian Elkhound. Oh, King Corso. I love them dogs. But uh, I'm not allowed any big dogs apart from Labradors, because Susan thinks that any big dog eats a human. So I'm not allowed. Uh, <laughs> Friends I... of mine try. Well, I could end up with a, the, the kids uh, we want another couple of dogs and the kids want a couple of dash huns can you imagine me walking around the village with two dash huns <laughs> there's a guy there's a guy who walks his dog in the park near me he's exactly the same he's like twice my size proper big lad he's got a tiny little like little chihuahua thing on a lead <laughs> and I have to I have to turn the other direction whenever I see him because it's so funny Nah, now listen, not... it takes a nah. confident guy to ha wear pink or have a little dog. I'm here. Hey, for I it. don't mind wearing pink. What I do mind is is walking two dash ones. I, I think that's a big problem. Um, I, I just think why? Why? I mean, you know, lab, there's lots of decent sized dogs that don't eat humans. She won't have a staffy because she thinks they'll eat them, even though they're called the nanny dogs and they're brilliant with kids. I could go on forever, but I've already had a rant today. So I'm uh, I'm taking tonight nice and easily. Um, uh, Dan, what do you want to discuss with us tonight? Well, a couple of things, hopefully. One, the Lewis Hall thing. I've been kind of quite vocal in my thought about this. I genuinely think that we've got a, um, a game limit on the Lewis Hall contract. 
Clearly and I not. think we've been stitched up. I think it's like a like a ten 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 appearances or something, and we're obligated to buy. So we're trying to use him sparingly until the end of the season, so we can push the actual transfer money onto next season instead of spending it this one. But we've had the injury crisis, so he's had to play more games than what we were initially hoping. Mm. Interesting. Um, That's not um, could be further than the truth, Dan. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Billy, go on. Well, it's, it's an obligation. It's as simple as that. A loan mm. with an obligation to buy is as simple as that. Once that contract, loan contract's done, you are obliged to buy the, the player. If we didn't buy him, Chelsea have got legal recourse to try and claim £90 million. Oh, no. Him. I mean, if if we play 10, se- 10 games this season, we're obligated to pay for him at the end of the, after the 10th game. So we'd Chelsea. have to pay for him out of this season's budget. Chelsea would never have agreed to that in the days. It, it well, th- this is this is what I was saying this morning with with, with Eddie coming out with what he said. Uh, it didn't really clear everything up, and I, and I think you know Newcastle United or Chelsea for that matter aren't at liberty to tell the fans what the conditions are in a loan deal. Yeah. It, 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 that, that's fine. Uh, but I there. He said he's nailed on to be playing for his next. Well, season. yeah. Yeah, now he has, but I still think that you know there's still a question out there as to you know is he keeping him on the bench because uh, you know we're, even though we're buying him, maybe there's a certain add-on to the value if he plays a certain amount of games for us this season or something like that. We we don't know the ins and outs, and and, and that's mm. I think the, the questions there's still a few out there about Lewis Hall. You know, is, the value is, the value could be it could, could kind of could come into it. I guess I guess. Yeah. If he, that's the only thing, Billy. That's the only thing I could see is, is that if he plays maybe 10, 15 games, like Dan said there, is there an additional five million on, on top of the price? You know, it could be, be, that. Yeah, it could be that. It could be yeah. something as easy as that. We just seem to have slammed the brakes on his appearances at eight games. That's a good it's, point, actually. He's, he is stuck on eight and he's, yeah. he hasn't moved from eight for a long time. And if there's one person during this in that whole injury crisis we probably could have done with having on the pitch, it was Lewis Hall. Mm. Well, maybe maybe that's why uh, Sam that he, we we never hear him kick off because he's just he's he knows the he understands what the deal is that's in place. Yeah. Well, clearly, absolutely. I think I think I think there's Billy's absolutely right. I think we need to get it out of our heads that he's he's staying. It's in mm-hmm. it's in what capacity are we loaning him out? Are we what are we doing with him when when he does stay? It's obviously to do with you know the the FFP and we've mm-hmm. we're trying to stay under some type of restriction. I think it's so frustrating. I, I like I do feel really guilty about it, my, like myself. But I think he's got so much talent. I, I would really love to see him on, but we mm-hmm. need to be smart. We need to think about our ceilings for FFP because we want to do a great job in the summer. So hopefully we will get to see him and not just ship him off to another club without giving him a shot. Yeah. Uh, Sophia says uh, it's criminal that TTR doesn't have 50k plus subs most inclusive knowledgeable tune channel on YouTube thank you Sophia that's very kind uh, hopefully one day we will uh, we we keep doing what we do we'll keep revamping the shows and bringing different things to you uh, like I said last night me and Sam are going to do a, a weekly uh, women's team show as well which I think will be quite popular now the women's team is really taken off we want to give them exposure um, but we haven't really had uh, anyone to sort of do the show with me, and now because Billy and Billy and Stato um, don't see a lot of the the women's team, uh, I see quite a bit of them. Sam sees a lot of them, so you know we've we've got uh, we've got shows in there as well. So th- there is going to be a lot uh, coming up as well uh, with with new shows and stuff like that as usual. Uh, but the old ones, I mean, will stay as well. Um, right, let's uh, let's get this out of the way. Derek, good evening. <laughs> Derek. Good evening. How are you all? Uh, we well, are not Sam. too bad. Uh, yes, uh, this is this is Sam's first uh, encounter with you, Derek. Uh, uh, well, you, you've got a lot to answer for, you know, Paul. Who? You, you've got a lot to answer for. Uh, tell me why. Well, I lost my virginity on this show. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm with you now. <laughs> <laughs> When I when I when I was brand new to, to YouTube YouTube land, Jesus Christ, Derek! I took oh, I, yeah. I stuck me toe in the water here, so you've yes, got a did. lot to answer for, Bonnie lad. Well, it's all our, it's it's all our fault. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's all our fault, and I, I'm very sorry, Chris, that he's been dumped on you. I do apologise, um, <laughs> you know. But um, uh, what would you like to discuss tonight, then, Derek? Well, uh, a couple of things, really, because uh, Roy was on about long stuff. 
Yeah. And I, I've been every which way with, with him. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, initially, I couldn't understand what the hell he what the hell he did other than run. But for me, he always ran ran in the wrong places. And then when he when he when he went missing with injury, boy, we seen to miss him. And he was one of those players, a bit like Mick Martin back in the day, when he wasn't in the team. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you realised, you know, that you were missing something. Mm -hmm. And then he came back in, and since he came back in, he's been absolutely atrocious, sadly. Uh, and I sort of went back to the dark side of, of, of thinking what I originally thought, that he was no good. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it is a decent point because, he, you know, uh, Billy, I can remember us doing commentary earlier on in the season, and, and when we were commentating on the games... Uh, when Sean was injured, we did see he was a big miss because he does the dirty work that maybe not a lot of people see. Um, but obviously, he's come back and, you know, we've got this report through that he's carrying this ankle injury, which which I think is very clear when he gets tackled. It's the ankle he goes for straight away. So, But why play him if he's not fit? And, and the problem is, they could, Billy, risk him getting a further, uh, well, risking that injury becoming a lot worse. But why did we play Botman with the ACL for so long? Well, exactly. Well, that, 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 that's, 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 a, that's a different kind of result together. That's, that's yeah. a poor, poor medical team. Yeah, but we, we seem I to be quite Longstaff, content with playing injured players. I think with Longstaff, they just want to get him through the end of the season before he has mm. an operation. I think the same goes for Isaac as well, if I'm perfectly honest. I think that both of those are, are, are requiring operations to clear things up. Sean Longstaff got his ankle done at Bournemouth away. He was screaming. The ball, the ball hit his ankle and it twisted it in a funny angle. Do you remember before, a funny angle? Yeah, there, were, there wasn't a tackle on him, wasn't there? No the tackle. Ball hit him. Yeah. The ball hit yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He was absolutely screaming for blue murder. Mm -hmm. He was out for, for weeks, came back and hasn't got the player since. Yeah. But it's, it's down to that injury. I'm absolutely 100% because anytime anyone goes near that ankle, he's on the floor rolling around screaming again. So, mm. yeah. Uh, I, I, I've got another thought on that as well, though, which is when Sean was playing, we had. Uh, Willock in G7 in the team as well. And yeah. was it the fact that they were carrying him so he was able to get away with the, uh, the, the, what, he, what he was doing, which wasn't very much? Probably not, because either side of the pitch. N well, yeah, but, but G7 would, would still come across and do a, a lot of the donkey work around the centre circle, uh, cutting, you, you know, knocking their players all over the place. I yeah. think Joe Lynch's what, main donkey wheel was covering for the left back. What's that, sorry? I think Joe Lynch's main donkey wheel was covering for Dan Byrne at left back. Oh, steady. Don't go down that road now. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> isn't it? It's 100% true. Billy, stop poking the bear! No, it's no, fact. no. It's fact. Not having that. That's not opinion. That's fact. Not having that at all. No. Why are you not having that, Derek? Because the, the 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 it's a midfield job to cover the back four. They're the first line of defence, and when they're not doing it, which they weren't doing when Joe Seven went missing, and we had Bruno, Longstaff, and Miley, there was no cover for that defence whatsoever. And it didn't matter who was at left back; they still got slaughtered, as we saw when Tino came on for for Bruno twice. And he got skinned off, off of Benny, and he got skinned off Menemy, and he got skinned off um, Alanga. So the, the thought that Tino would do any better than BDB is utter, utter hogwash. <laughs> it's not that, was it? It's there not... you go, Billy. How many goals did Dan Burns Put that in your vape and puff it. Let's go back to Luton, <laughs> shall we? How many goals were Dan Burns' fault directly? Let's well, let, it. let's do, to, let's do better than that. Let's do better than that. Let's go to Arsenal. Before before Dan Byrne came on the pitch, we were getting beat 4 0 with Livramento. Right. Yeah, when he replaced Arsenal... Livramento, we won 1 0. That's correct. That's correct. They, but they also took Sack off at the same time. So Dan Byrne's marking nobody. Well, just saying. I'll rest my case. Case closed, Your Honour. <laughs> Me, lad. <laughs> anyway, great show as always, guys. Uh, uh, Chelsea, what... yes, I think we should beat Chelsea. No problem. Uh, no I problem. think what, what, what we've got to do, what we've got to do, is get at them, get at them, get a goal, and if we get the first goal, the crowd will turn, mm. and it'll be like a home game for us. 
Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I think Chelsea's fans are, are right on the edge at the minute, aren't they? And I've, I've actually they certainly are. A lot of Chelsea fans today saying that they would love to have Eddie Howe instead of Poch. Um, personally, I don't think it's Poch's problem. I think it's the, the, the you know, we've discussed this on other shows. Chelsea have made a, the owner of Chelsea has just made them an, an absolute farce at, at times. I really That's do. Same and I think conversation when, when Van Potter was there, exact same conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah. Potter was, Potter was shit on from the highest point. He is a good manager and so is Poch. Um, so, but you can stay away from Eddie Howe. Thank you very much. Uh, Tom says, incorrect, Paul. Cats are brilliant, affectionate and loyal animals. It's just they're independently minded than dogs. Cats are great for mental health. Tom, I've never heard a bigger load of bollocks than what I'm hearing now. You talk like talk sport when you talk about cats. So give our, um, don't get, don't, don't make me go there, Tom. They are not loyal. They would just run away in a second if they had the opportunity. Dogs, dogs love humans dogs are there dogs are by your side you call them over they come to you cats just want to rip your throat out they want to get their nails stuck in your jugular and just let you bleed to death they're not bothered they would eat you in a second if they had the opportunity they are not nice animals they are the devil have you been attacked by a cat like this is a lot of hate towards um, cats i've had a, a goat or not sam right i'm sorry billy what? a giraffe and a goat well, uh, yes, I've had problems with them in the past, absolutely. But um, uh, cats, I have had cats in my time, right? Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, and for the kids, not for me, they are the devil, right? They, the, the way they look at you, the, you know, this rubbish about on Shrek when they've got that stupid cat with the droopy eyes, they never look at you like that, by the way. That's a load of bollocks. They look at you like they are planning something. They're always planning something when they look at you as if to say... <laughs> Yes, which eye can I scratch out next? Which, where is the throat? Where, where can I put the, the scratches on the back or the hands or rip, rip somebody's tongue out or something like that? They always look at you like that. They're very creepy animals. Um, I'd rather have a tiger. I mean, I'm, I, I've got a tiger tattooed on me. I love tigers. I would have a tiger over a domestic cat any day of the week. It's even though essentially a big cat. It's the same. yes. But they are bit they are like dogs. They are bigger than dogs, obviously. But I, like can you dog. imagine? Could you imagine? I would feel proud as punch walking a tiger down Sacristan Front Street any day of the week. Who do you think you're Mike Tyson? Come Hell down. yes, woman. Hell yes. <laughs> Give me a tiger any day. Hurrah! Anyway, um Dan, before you go, mate, uh, what's your prediction for Monday night? Two one to the two. Two one, and who's gonna score? I reckon it's gonna be Willa Kinnisak. Well, I hope you're right. Listen, I'll let you go. And uh, I was going to say something there, but I'm not going to. I'll let you go away and look <laughs> after your cat. Um, yeah. But uh, take care, mate. We'll speak soon. <laughs> See you all later. Yeah, Good night, buddy. Good night. Um, and we'll bring our final guest of the evening on now. Uh, it's uh, Josh. Uh, good evening from Hi, Philly. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, hey, Josh. It's all right. You seem to have grown some facial furniture since you were last on, Josh. It's probably just more noticeable. I've always kind of had a little It's definitely more there. noticeable because uh, you, you look... Uh, anyway, uh, what would you like to discuss? Actually, I was, I was a little late, so I missed that you were announcing the women's show, but I'm really excited for that. First of all, welcome, yeah. Sam. Um, Thank you. You've been a great addition. But I'm actually flying over for the final to see them at Kenilworth Road. And oh, I'm you are. really all excited. Right. I lucked out, and plane tickets were really cheap. And since it's right outside of London... I figured, why the heck not? And so I'm really excited. I'm a huge Georgia Gibson fan, so can't wait to see her live. Any particular um, reason you're a Georgia Gibson fan, Josh? I mean, her talent, for one. I mean, <laughs> listening. You know, I know my wife's listening, but she's not oh. me up. <laughs> but, uh, but no, she's really talented. She kind of yeah, reminds me a lot of, like, Bruno in ways that she's everywhere. She's not just offensive. She makes responsible defensive moves, too. But yeah. And I also like that she's been there since the whole thing began. You know, I remember the early yeah. videos when I started watching them. I think it was Adam P's channel that mm -hmm. he did some of the early coverage that I saw personally. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just I like that story, and you know that she's well, been there from the beginning. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of them, isn't there, Sam? You know, there's uh, Grace Donnelly's been there a while now as well. Uh, uh, you know, you look at Katie Barker as well. She's been there through the through the growth of the women's side. Um, 
uh, Anna Soulsby, she's been there as well. Uh, but they've brought in some amazing talent as well. You know, you look at the likes of Potty, you look B at Bailey Emma Gale Kelly, as you, well. You know, Bailey Gale is a fabulous <sighs> addition. Um, you know, the, the, you know, they've got some. Katie Elson, I think, is another one that's been there through the rise as well. So there's still there's still a core of players who've 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 been there. Um, I just think Becky's done an incredible job. She really has. And I know they've gone full time, and I know they've got more probably more resources than the teams around them in in the, their league at the minute. Um, but they've still got to go out there and do it on the pitch, and 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 they are. They're doing that every week. They're going out. They're performing. Um, they're getting a lot more exposure through, uh, obviously, having their own Twitter page, but being on YouTube and where people can see them who can't get to the games. Um, but they've just brought in a, a wealth of talent. And I think that can only uh, be, I mean, some of these players can play at a much higher level, Sam. Yes, yeah, certainly. And I think if anybody's interested um, for International Women's Day, uh, NewcastleUnited.com have put on um, an article from uh, Becky Langley. So please do check that out. It's, it, it is really that Marvel origin story. So it talks about mm -hmm. her like having to work all of these jobs at the same time just so she could, you know, k keep her hands into the game that she loved so much and sort of seeing everybody coming through the ranks and actually players who she'd taken with her from her university days and it, it mm -hmm. just seems to be so serendipitous how things have worked out but she talks to the support of the fans you know the belief from from the club and um, from amanda as well from that um, investment perspective so please please do check that out because she's doing remarkable things and on for the on for the double this year and you know regularly getting you know two thousand fans a, a, a game now which is great at home so mm -hmm. yeah i hope they do great i'm uh, i'm very jealous that you're going to be going down and actually it's going to be tremendous i mean that's a long way to come josh to be honest it, it's a very long way um it is. so uh, well, but it, it, listen that's the kind of pull they've got now i mean they, they, they have that kind of and i think billy that's through the exposure they've been getting yeah 100 and 100 for to josh kudos for this dedication of traveling over for a cup <laughs> final it's fantastic absolutely you know, yeah, yeah that really is yeah. And I hope we win for him. I hope he enjoys his day. And well, we'll be we'll be doing the uh, we'll be doing match day live for it as well. Um, we we will have it uh, live, um, and I think we're we're gonna uh, drag Sam onto the commentary as well with me and Billy. <laughs> so um, you know, unless Sam's going to the game, I haven't asked her yet actually. So, um, are you going to the game, Sam? I am gonna see if I can try and make it. But uh, I, right, need, okay. I need I need I need childcare. I've got I've got three dogs. <laughs> See, well, with cats, you don't need childcare. Oh, shite off, Josh, man. <laughs> Give over, will you? Um, how we uh, talking about the men's team, Josh? I mean, it's a, it's a big game on Monday, yeah. and you know, if we can keep the run going, because you know, we've got a chance of finishing still in the European places. And, and Eddie pointed out, I think this is another good point Eddie made this morning. It's the first time I've heard him come out to say we want to finish in a European place, yeah. I, I agreed with you this morning, Paul, when you did your post press conference. I really loved his his conference this morning. I thought there was a lot more given than kind of the last, past couple of weeks. And yeah, I'm glad that he says that. I mean, I don't think anyone who really knows him ever thought he wasn't striving for that. But he gives yeah. his cryptic Eddie answers. Mm -hmm. But I think tomorrow, in a weird way, could be one of those just like pivotal moments where not if we lose, like we're going to fall off a cliff, but it just, it might be cause us to just then stumble again. Like we've, we've missed a gear when, mm -hmm. if we hit that tomorrow, I think it can propel us into a good run. I think tomorrow we're either going to knock them out of the park or we're going to probably get outrun ourselves. I don't think it's going to be a close one because both teams, as I think you guys said earlier, are, you, you don't know who's going to show up in a way. So we're either going to show up and just run them out of the house and the fans are going to turn on them or it's going to be a rough day, maybe. Mm. Uh, Derek, I mean, where do you think the game's going to be won for Newcastle? You know, it, uh, the midfield is going to be very interesting for me, but I, I mentioned earlier before you came on just about, you know, the, the little bit of niggle that Newcastle and Chelsea have over the last few games, that there is a needle there. Um, so the physical, we've got to win the physical game as well. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely going to be one in the midfield. There's no doubt about that. And this is why uh, Sean's performance is going to be so critical. Um, Bruno, because as you rightly say, there's going to be a bit of niggle there. I just hope that Bruno can control his natural aggression kind of thing, which he's been doing brilliantly for the past three or four weeks. 
and for me has been a better player because of it. Yeah. Because he's because he's been walking that tightrope and had to control it all. I think he's been a much better player the last five weeks than he was the, the, the previous five weeks. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're still like Bayer. Hopefully, we'll like will, will, will give us something there anyway, you know, because he, he'll not like Chelsea being an Arsenal fan. Uh, so hopefully, he can give us a, a a bit of a boost there. But I just hope that uh, Sean can put a decent shift in. I, I think, think that could, that that could that could be the key thing. If if if, if Sean gets a seven, we we'll win the game. Mm. If he gets a four, we could lose it. I think for once our opponents have a bigger injury list as well, which is kind of good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> even, even Gallagher's yeah. gone down with the virus now, and he's been There's a part of the field. Yeah, that's right. Well, Gallagher's been their key man all season. Has, all, all, the Chelsea, all the Chelsea fans are saying that. You know, they didn't rate him at all. No, they, they, didn't. They, they didn't. They've, 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 kind, they've kind of come... come. He was their long staff. Mm. They, they, they hated him, but then suddenly realised what a good player he was. Uh, excuse me, I'd just like to pick up on this comment here. I am not the Geordie Kurt Zuma at all. I do not hurt animals at all. I would never dream, even though I don't like cats, I would never dream of using one like a rugby ball. Thank you very much. I take offence to that comment, Jackie. Um, never mind. Uh, right, uh, Derek, what score are you going for then? I'll, 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 I'm at 1-0. One 1-0, nil. One nil, just get the goal, shut them up and, and hang on. Who's going to score? Big Dan from a corner. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Right, Derek, thanks for coming on, buddy. You take care. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Bye, Cheers, Cheers, Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Sam. Right. Uh, right, Josh. You get the final say on the score, buddy. I'm going to go 3 0 2. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's more like it. I'll tell you what. If it's 3 0, I'll tell you what. I'll be dancing in front of the camera on Monday night. There's no doubt about it. Who's going to get the goals? I think it's going to be Gordon. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Fabian Shar. What, 35 yard? Yeah, he's, uh, he's overdue. He's overdue. Yeah. Absolutely. And. I'm just going for a wild card. Elliot Anderson off the bench, finally getting that off of his chest. Oh, I'll tell you what, that would be nice. Just coming on. Just I want to watch this game. This sounds good. Yeah, you'll be too drunk in somewhere in an Italian. I bar. will. I will. <laughs> uh, listen, Josh, thank you very much uh, for coming on, matey, and uh, yeah. Cheers, we'll guys. get get yourself back on next week again before your trip over. Yeah, um, definitely. And, will uh, yeah, and, and uh, listen. Keep your eye out for the women's uh, shows because we're going to be bringing them soon, mate. As soon as Sam's back from holiday, actually. Yeah, so. definitely looking forward to that. It's all right, dude. We'll speak to you soon, matey. Take, Take care out there. Bye. Cheers, Josh. Yeah. Top man. Josh is a top man. He, he is. Um, they're all. Everybody's top who comes on here. It's, uh, it's been an interesting show tonight. Uh, I didn't realize we've gone like an hour and a quarter instead of an hour. I just got carried away there with the entertainment of uh, me being called the. Jordy Kurt Zoom, that's fall. I loved your face when uh, Susan's comment came on. <laughs> what, Kurt, what's Kurt Zoom's most disliked pop group? Say, rock band. Do you know who it is? killed a cat. No, Muse. Oh, Billy. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. I'll get my coat. Yeah, no, you'll notice that with Susan Sam. She'll put a few things in the comments just to try and, you know, embarrass me. Um, she's very clever at doing that. Put you off a um, bit. I like that. Rattle she you. always does. You want to see the text messages that come through sometimes while I'm live? I do. Makes a teacher how Friday starts. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, John Sorby, thank you for celebrating a month's membership. He says, I've got to watch it on catch up. I've missed it. Well, that's what YouTube is there for. If you miss the live, you can always watch it back. Uh, but Sam, I'm going to put you on the spot before we go because obviously you are not going to be here for the next two Newcastle United games against Chelsea and Manchester City. So I'm going to put you on the spot and give you a, a chance to put your score predictions in for the two games. Chelsea, 2-1, um, Gordon and Willock. Everyone's um, Gordon to score again, right? I, I'm, I'm feeling it. it. It's the pace. They've got no yeah. pace at the back, have they? Especially with James and Lundman out. And Chilwell's possibly out as well. 
Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, yeah. do you know what? I just, I think I saw some like really great stuff, and I like, I, I just want to see him again. And the shot that he had, that was, you know, like a, a really good block, unfortunately. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was a really good save. But I, I'm, I'm thrilled to see that happening. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna go. Ooh. I feel like Ooh. I need to almost reserve opinion on this, but I'm going to go with um, a, a, sitting on the fence. A, I'm going to go two one again. To but us, I'm going to go to us. Uh, this, I'm just, I'm feeling if we, if we, this is on, the, this is on the the understanding that we that we win Sunday because I think that's going to boost us, and I think we're going to. Well, see... we'll do well to win on Sunday, considering it's Monday. I keep getting, Monday. I keep saying the wrong day, and I get, I keep getting put it? right it's in. Putting the... everybody I, I don't off. Know. It's crazy. It is putting everybody off. I'm hoping to see uh, Bruno and uh, Isaac on the sheet. Uh, well, I hope you're right. I hope we don't pick up any injuries at Chelsea, <laughs> but it'd be lovely to beat Man City. Listen, you have a great time in Italy, Sam, uh, and we'll uh, we'll see you a week on Monday back on the show. Um, it is a week on Monday. You're back on the show, isn't it? Yeah. You, you... Yeah, probably, unless I yeah. get lost in Italy. But oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> there is that. I mean, you, you know, the amount of wine you'll probably go through. Well, uh, you know, you'll be broadcasting from a, a little shack on the beach somewhere. A oh, mystery <laughs> flight. Sounds lovely. We'll just yeah. do a stream of it. That'll be that'll oh, be nice. Yeah. Uh, well, you have a great time, and we'll see you week on Monday. But for everybody else, uh, we're back on Sunday night, seven p.m. Uh, with the match preview, of course, with me, Billy, and uh, Alex. And uh, if there is any news to bring you over the weekend, then obviously uh, I'll do some uh, recorded shows and bring you the latest news from the club. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who has super chatted or taken out memberships or gifted memberships tonight. Mods, you've been amazing again. Thank you to Billy and Sam. Thank you for everybody that's joined us on the forum tonight. And of course, uh, thank you to everyone out there for spending your Friday evening with us. Jump over onto PD Proudlock's channel now, uh, where he's got his football show just started. Uh, Billy will be uh, heading over there as well tonight. But in the meantime, guys, have a fabulous weekend and we will see you very soon. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen, everyone. Come back and check out the green.